Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Good day, guys. We're in the frickin' the old doomsday hole here. There's nothing in there, but anyways, we are going to start by putting in the Pete 90 gear box. So we put the new disc on already and a new bushing in behind. And there's the old guy there. Um, yeah, so let's go down and I'm just going to show you what, uh, what we made. This is what I made to lift the parts in and out of the machine so anyway we'll get her on and i'll bring you back in a bit here come on princesses autos hold up for a guy we got we got our lives in your hands anyway we're ready to lift her up here got the chain on so See you in a bit. You want to see this going in the combine? Just look at old fucking numb nuts' tick tock or whatever fucking deal. Anyway, we're gonna try to hoist her up there. So here's the gam. This is what I used last time when I when I uh, holy fucking loader spot. Nice. Ah, oh, that's all right, I think. Anyway, I better pay attention here. So see you in a few. Well, boys, piss on it. We're out of fuel. Just about out of battery on the phone. Time to shut her down. I think it's about 2.30 a.m. So, go home and uh, have a shower and hit the sack. So, we'll see you tomorrow morning. And, uh, probably finish up bailing and then continue working on the, uh, working on the uh, combine so I don't know how many bales I made must have made 40 something like that in here anyways so that's pretty good but better let you go here for my phone dies talk to you in the morning it's, we'll close it what do you think guys good mom what do you think should be nice in here Would have finally had her kittens. Mm-hmm. And what are you doing? You are doing the tapping job. I don't know if these are uh, billies or not. Seeing that they're orange. So many orange ones. Yeah. She has a bit of orange on her, though. That's true. They're already eating hard food. <laughs> now they'll get used to kids, that's for sure. You're going to ride on the crocodile. No, now you're on the monkey. Yeah, yeah, monkey. Woo -hoo. Yeah. Okay, there we go, boys. She's coming in. Oh, she's coming in. Oh, she's coming in. Come ahead a wee bit. There we go. Okay, we're going to lower her down and uh, hopefully get her in there. You see all those new belts? We put all them new belts. What a shit show. Anyway, I'll show you all that when we're done. We're just trying to give her here. So, see you in a bit. Okay, boys. What a real see you next Tuesday. We had to get those fucking bolts in here that hold the hydro on because I don't know if you're supposed to have them in there before you put all this shit on, but fuck me. That was dumb, eh, Karch? Mm hmm. So, anyways, what we had to do was loosen this housing, pry it over, 
so we could get the bolts going here past the uh, the tack here or whatever the tack gear that reads your uh, RPMs of the sensors on the bottom. But what a bitch! Oh my fucking knees! I feel like I'm 80. I know how you feel, Ed. <laughs> Uh, anyway, so we got the hydro in, PTO 90 gearbox, so I just got to put the belts and all the tighteners and hoses, hook all that shit up tomorrow I guess, so we're probably going to shut her down here pretty quick, but we got to get a uh, few more bolts tightened up yet, and uh, yeah, we'll just call it a day anyway, after that, but here's our setup, what we have, <laughs> she's a little rickety, but that's good enough. See, we just mounted that on the bale spear and uh, had our chain hoist on there, down to there, and that was what we had. First, we had it in that hole, but it was lifting too much on the front, so we ended up putting it in the back, and now she's mint. But anyway, I'll uh, see you in the morning, I guess, when it's daylight. She's pitch fucking black. Nice. See you in the morning. Morning, guys. Now that it's daylight and you can actually see here. So, I'm going to start putting these hoses back on the hydro here. Uh, all of them are off. Because we got to take it out. So, we got to stick them back on. Return line up there. And so on. And then we got to put the rest of the belts in. So, that'll be fun. That tubing isn't supposed to be there, but we used it last night. Got the other belt over there. So that's what we got to do. I'll try and get... Oh, I got to get down in this hole here. Hang on. We got to... Oh, man. There we go. Okay. So last night it rained again. And this morning. Like, why the fuck didn't you rain during the year? Better not be doing this shit again all year. So anyways, I brought a couple of regs up with me, wiped this all up, and uh, yeah, get ready to put these hoses in. So anyway, I don't know how much vidgen I can do here, but I'll get you some clips along the way anyways. Um, just because it's so oily, I don't want to get my phone any dirtier than it is. So all right, I'll talk to you in a bit here, guys. Okay, guys. I got all them hoses on now, got the actuator plugged in, our little solenoid, got all the hoses on the hydro, got to put the batteries in yet, the old battery. Now, I had a leak on my Bosch P injection pump here, and I narrowed it down to the oil cavity underneath here, so... If you can see, there's a little gasket up underneath here where it's all leaking out. And uh, I got a kit from Wilkinson Diesel. They're actually more help than those fuckers at Cummins. Oh, we don't know what that is. Actually, Case had their own thing there when they uh, had it with their, uh, when they put them together with the Cummins motor. I don't care. It's a fucking Cummins engine. Don't you have parts? We could sell you a whole pump. Go fuck yourself. Anyways, I phoned up Wilkinson and Regina, and they're like, "Oh yeah, shit, yeah, we got those." There's an out. There's also an update kit for it too. There's uh, instead of those stupid little tabs, there's uh, straps that go underneath here now instead. So anyway, they're just uh, I'm guessing T25 uh, Torx. Let's see. T30. Upside down. T30 Torx is what they are. So he says to me that in this gasket here, there's an O-ring that goes in here. So we're going to have to uh, go get some kind of a tool and uh, try to get that gasket out, or this little plate. So anyway, I'll be back at you when I... Get it figured out here. So, seeing a few. Okay, guys, I gotta show you this before I get carried away here. There was my problem. 
That's why I was leaking engine oil out of my injection pump. The O-ring was hard and rotten. So, what the kit consists of is a new O-ring that's kind of like that one. Pretty much the same, you know. Um, and then three of these straps here. I'll show you these. Now here's the straps. So instead of having them little tabs on each one and then holding the plate up, these ones go up underneath and go in the divot and push up together. So that will go across like this and then up into them holes like that. So I will uh, keep going here. I don't want it to fall out of me. I think I pretty much got it up in there now. But uh, there you go. That's what she looks like up inside of there. So anyway, I'm going to keep going here and uh, hopefully get her back together. And then I'll show you when I get it snugged up. So see you in a few. Okay, so now we got this in here. There she is. All done up. So now it's got these straps on here instead. Of uh, those little, uh, these little wee tabs here. Like these little bastards. So these were kind of the same idea, but they pushed up on the edge of the uh, tin. So that's the update kit, boys, for a P pump a Bosch P pump for your 83 or like uh, basically the same pump as a 59 Cummins 4BT whatever so mechanical pump anyway i got my uh governor freed up here so that's pretty good she's ready to just walk all over the freaking wheat boys okay so now that i got that done I see, ouch, I got a, uh, a bolt missing out of my air conditioner pump here. So I'm going to have to get one in there. So that's nice. But anyway, that's not too bad. Get all that tuned up later on. What I think I'm going to do now is uh, uh, undo that wire, drop my pulley down. And put my three rib belt back on. That's the separator drive belt right here, which is brand new last year, too. And that rotor belt, I blew that rotor belt. There's still pieces of it up here somewhere, and maybe most of it washed out. But, anyways, so yeah, I guess that's uh, pretty much it for now. I'm gonna leave all of this open when I get the batteries on, and I can see check for leaks and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, anyway, I'll get this belt on and take all these tools down and put the batteries on, batteries, and uh, hopefully everything's going to work here. So, we'll see you in a few, guys. See you in a few. We're getting closer. Okay, boys, how are you now? Good new. Look at this. Got the new bolt in there with that fancy dancy lock nut. Man, have I got grease to wash off this pig. <laughs> Anyway, I didn't want to do it until uh, I got all these leaks fixed, but we got the belt on. Tighten her in, tighten her tight. Um, I don't even know all the hoses on. Oh, baby. Everything's done in here. I tightened up that uh, bolt right there on the uh, hydro because before it was uh, the little son of a gun was trying to sneak back on it, so... Anyway, I'm going to get the batteries put in, and then we'll fill her up with oil and give her a try here. So, I'll have to clean all these tools up. Anyway, good enough. See you in a few. Okay, guys. There we go. I got the 90 and the PTO filled up. I filled up the reservoir for the hydraulics, and I hope I got all the freaking leaks fixed now. So, I guess we can go ahead and give her a start here after lunch so uh i just threw all the tools there for now in case i need them um and there's a bunch down here too i gotta clean all this up yet too but you know how she goes boys anyway i'm just gonna give you a rundown of what we've done here um okay for starters i should get a new filter i didn't 
I uh, maybe I will after I'll run it for a little while and then I'll change that filter in case there's any uh, moisture that got into those lines at all okay we changed the unloading auger belt what a pain in the ass you have no idea you had to take okay that one that one that one that one that one take the chain off take these two little buggers out of there drop that down swing this piece down along with this piece and then you got to get the belt in over that way but you got to take off this there's a tin shroud that goes around comes all the way to the top and along with this son of a gun too that goes to this here and getting that hydro belt on there was real fun as well that that was a yeah good time um and then working in the dark too that doesn't really help much but oh, i guess there's two two uh, oil filters on here so that's kind of nice i might have to get uh, the brother to pick a couple up so anyway got the old girl filled up here um i don't they're probably the same number if i had to guess uh a one seven seven six oh five what's this one sam ting sam ting boys you know what's good about the oil leak though you really don't have to grease any of this side of the combine that uh, now i'm gonna have to grease it i think anyway we're gonna fire it up here after dinner and uh check for leaks when dad gets out here so i hope all them uh everything's all tight there on the hydro and whatnot so now we got to keep an eye on all the leaks if we get any leaks we're going to start changing hoses right away so that uh, we keep it clean especially after guys spent all that money on it so anyway i will uh go have a bite to eat feed the little munchkins and get back to you here in a bit oh yeah we changed these two chains too i don't know if you've seen that but we've changed those so anyway got enough i'm gonna go for lunch and uh i'll be back in a bit here oh. there she be i sprayed all this with degreaser Yeah, it should be all right, I think. Well, whatever. It'll go away. All right, boys, no leaks or nothing, so we should be good. I'll show you here in a bit when I uh, get it washed off a little bit better. So, seeing a few. Going for a bath. Going for a bath. Lexi, how are you now? Good and you? Well, boys, we're uh, just taking a break from the old combine there. She's pretty near ready to go. I got to pick up a freaking water pump tomorrow. She's blowing antifreeze out. And underneath the engine, uh, there's two steel lines that uh, go to the, to the uh, hydraulic oil cooler are leaking. So, or were leaking. I got got them made up to rubber so right now we're just underneath the swather here and we're going to take off the hay head and put on the 920 no 962 header and start cutting canola here right away so anyway i just wanted to update you on what's going on good enough apparently my battery is too low for my flashlight anyways there was used to be steel lines that came all the way across here Went down over to here and then to the cooler, which there is, it was about a five day wait. Seems it had to come out of who the hell knows. Anyway, there's none in Canada for sure. Maybe not even the States. I don't know. Anyway, so we got those chains. That's those hoses I was telling you about. They were leaking. And now I got to change my water pump, which is right here. This big shiny pulley. I got to change that. I got the new one here. And... Went and picked up a set of concaves this morning and two pumps from the Princess's Autos. 
I got invited to uh, another sale again, so that was nice. But anyway, I guess I'll uh, keep giving her here before my phone dies, so we'll talk to you in a bit. How's she going, boys? Good and you. She's coming here, the old girl. We're just going to reinforce our ladder here. I must have ate too much in the, in the uh, summer, I guess. Anyway, we got our pressure washed off. Hold on. There we go. Check her out, boys. She's a little faded, but not so bad. Anyway, she's a kind of a mess up here yet, but uh, what we're going to do is just let the pea dust stick to it. And then, uh, then we'll come back and wash it all off again. So that's the plan. <coughs> because it is uh, quite a pain in the arse. But anyway, so we had a major leak on that hose there and that hose after we put all the new parts and all this here is just water and oil that we washed out of the uh, engine bay. <coughs> Whoops, I dropped you. Dang nabbit. And this side here is, seems to be good now. So that's where we put on the return lines, right there and there. So those will be fine. And yeah, see there's a bit of crap up there yet, but like I say, the P dust should stick to it pretty good and then we'll just blast her off when we're done. So anyway, got the new belts on there. Uh, we got to grease it yet. Uh, I took this side panel off and noticed this bolt was gone in the uh, tightener. So I had to make uh, bushing and all that BS because down in here... Right there is the bolt that goes through and there's a bushing in there and the bolt and everything was gone. Everything. So, that's that I guess. So right now, like I say, old right con is uh, making us a bracket to go from here down to here. And then we're going to run that down and put two bolts in there and then we'll just copy it on both sides, both of them. Probably go here or something and down here or here or whatever. Anyways, then I'll keep the ladder away from the tire a little bit too. Uh, I think what it was over the years of bouncing like that, there's little pin pinners in here that are supposed to come through up here in the hole, but it's all beat to shit because the ladder was bent down. So hopefully, straighten that out. It's going to fix her up, but... Uh, Anyway, I think, uh, well, they got the cab cleaned out. We're just going to have to uh, give her a shot with the squeegee. We got all LED lights ordered. Carter ordered uh, two kits. Uh, how many lights did you order? 24? Huh? How many lights did you order? 24? 20. 20 lights, okay. That will be enough to do both machines. So that's kind of handy. But, uh, yeah. Well, yeah, I fixed there's a... Uh, a chain on your feeder house drive and the accelerator. Uh, the chain fucking tightener deal, tensioner, was going past the lug, so I welded a new lug on. And, yeah, that's pretty much it for now. I got to put this uh, shield back on and we're, should be in business. So, should be thrashing peas tomorrow. But, anyways, I'll finish this video here. When we get the ladder done, I got to do a bit of welding on the back. The back ladder is also cracked. So that's good, but anyway, good enough, seeing a few. Well guys, there you have it. Spreaders on, sieves are set, concaves opened up. Gonna set the rotor speed, fan speed when I get there. And uh, the old bugger is leak free for now anyways. So I guess that'll be it for this video. And uh, Stay tuned because I'm going to thrash peas right now. Right now! Anyway, sounds good enough to me. So I will uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. If you haven't, leave a comment. La di da and everything. So I can't even go out that way. What the hell? Oh well, I guess we're going this way. One guy asked about my sickle sections. No, these ones are different on the flex head. 
uh, they're the normal normal width ones on this one so anyway I will uh, get you some footage of combine and peace so stay tuned anyway guys thanks for watching talk to you later